Hello there everybody, I'm Mix here and I'm filming this directly after I just filmed that haul video, the last haul video and I am late to, the, to say this but um, I got 200 videos, like 30 videos back, I just, you know I made like 60 videos in 3 days if you saw that video and I just sort of lost track, haven't been checking but yeah, happy late 200 videos mark. Um, um, I already have a bunch of videos recorded to upload right now. Maybe, well, not a bunch, but more than usual. Usually I do two for day, upload them within that day and that night. Right now I have five already recorded, but um, so, you know, sometimes I stop myself from trying to do, uh, do this because I like the upload being done close to the time the video was filmed. But I just want to dig into this right now and figured in case anyone wanted to watch it, I just put it on the camera. So. This is the catalog for January 2019, catalog. Over 100 new sets, I believe that. Free shipping on orders over 35 bucks, we've known that. Choose your gift with purchase. Gotta see that, page 48. And then basically shopped at home, the Lego um, store and the sort of number. We got Swiss Mayhem ship. Apocalypseburg in the background. Wasn't this out before Apocalypseburg was revealed, either on eBay or the other? Or actually, you know, that is also from the movie and the trailer, so we didn't know that was a set, so. That's why no one did videos on that. Um, what have we got? What's new? Benefits and service. Become a LEGO VIP member. By the way, do that. It's free and it saves a lot of money. So, LEGO Movie 2 sets. This might be a long catalog. I just, I just want to have fun and go through it slowly. I love that tricycle. It's just a funny, hilarious um, idea. Always good to get Duplo Invaders. Might get two of the sort of poly bag with the... Duplo Invader, Sweetness Mayhem Ship, which we've seen there. Didn't do a video on this, a news video, though I was tempted to, where Target is selling refills of those for three bucks. Yeah, I'm getting five of those. They're already in my shopping cart at Target, um, though I might hold off. I don't know how I feel about paying $15 for just stickers, but anyway, that is a good set. Uh, it feels like a $50 set, though not a $70 set, though it does have a lot inside. I love the star and heart, although the star, yeah, the star comes in a poly bag from the trailer where Emmett closes the gate on it and then lets it free. So I do gotta get that. Ten bucks, I think I'll get it, plus two extra expressions for Unikitty. Great ice cream man. Jenga will probably use it to replace his uh, Duplo ice cream belt. That's a nice use of those nugget pieces. Thirty bucks, I'll definitely get this. A one by five break. Go check out that video where I really dive into that. The build is hilarious, another Duplo Invader, and two good figures. These are very similar to the one in the CMF, so that way I don't have to get the blind bags. Which I will probably do a video on like how you can get the full series in the order. But anyway, 50 bucks, I'm not getting this one. It does combine with that, as you can see right there. If I find it, I, I have a feeling this won't sell well with suspension and all. Though I, the figures, you know, I'll get from here, but... I like the sign of the heart, and I feel like because it won't sell well, I can find it for a sale maybe. Obviously, I think definitely $40, but I'm hoping around 30 If it's around 30 I'll get it definitely so I can combine the two. Then do a video on that. Papa Party of Us, such a fun, fresh, new idea. Love the artwork in the background, though. Uh, 80 bucks, good deal, though. Uh, I just got an $80 set in that last haul, but Junior's not into it. Common figures, I'm gonna get Benny's Space Squad. Where is Benny's Space Squad? Did I miss it? No. Oh, wait. no, no, I don't believe I did. But anyway, Rex is, um, Rex Stream Off-Roader, definitely getting that, 30 bucks for that awesome dino. Uh, this build, which I really like the color scheme, two other builds, which are mainly side builds. Uh, Plantamol and, yeah, Emmett, but Rex Danger Vest, that will be where I get him. 60 bucks, no way, I cannot get this. I'll get that figure. I'll get this in like the $20 set or maybe like it comes in a Master Builder poly bag, so. But nice shark. And it's a uh, dream house slash rescue rocket. Really want this one. It reminds me of like those old townhouses right there. That's like, this looks like the box art and funny enough, even in the box art, that's so tiny, all that extra stuff, but. Yeah, um, I'm surprised they didn't have one page which showed this and then the other half showed this. But, oh, look at the other half. The $20 uh, Battle Ready Batman and Metal Beard. I th this seems a bit overpriced for $20. $15 would be a good price, I'd say, though. 
Um, I don't have too much incentive. I'm getting him from like the poly bag. I'm getting him from Apocalypseburg if I do get that, which hopefully I will. I just love that set even though it's super expensive. Not overpriced, just expensive. Do you want that? You're welcome print them. I can get the star elsewhere, maybe in, a, in that poly bag. And I'll have enough of these from Apocalypseburg if I do get that. Uh, introducing Queen whatever I want, Abby. Um, good build, yeah, it's okay. 20 bucks, yeah, it seems like it should be $10, you know? And where's Benny Space Squad? Then of the Leg Movie 2 sets right on the Scalia Dialogue, but no Benny Space Squad. I love this set. Rex is Rex Explorer. 120 bucks, yeah, I'm not gonna get it, but though. Uh, creative building, cool, I guess. Would always use a piece of Sky Police. Sky Police, um, yeah. <laughs> a lot of people say they're running out of ideas, kinda agree with that. I believe that's a junior set. Looks like a junior set. Yeah, age four plus. So yeah, that's a junior set. Um, this looks, yeah. Um, Sky Police I don't really like though. I love that sort of a uh, golden firefighter. Light and sound brick, want that. I want a parachute. Uh, if I do really, really want a parachute. Oh, 40 bucks? I thought this was 30. Hmm. If it goes on sale for 30, maybe I'll get it for that parachute. And, but... I think I'll wait till 2020 when these sets are on the shelves, but even like more reduced price, like at Target and Walmart. And then if they haven't released another set with a parachute, then I'll have to get that. But barbecue burnout, nice torso print. Got that in like the Lego brand store I reviewed, so go check that out. And it's again, Junior's not my cup of tea. 40 bucks, uh, sale for 30. I always think of sets on sale when I'm not that excited for them. Like this, like, water pump doesn't shoot water, though it's nice. I like the burger bar. Wish it was $30, though. And then I could find it on sale for 20 because I'd get it for 20 but I don't know, about 30 New fire station. Eh, nice part usage there, I guess. Okay. Um, that huge set has a pretty fun game, though, where you can hit these when the porta potty lifts up half and then the minifigure inside doing his business is revealed. You hit the air conditioning, those pop up. Wow, that said, I did not cover in my news video. It just came out way later than the other ones and separately kind of weird, but hey, it's actually a pretty nice set. Won't get it, obviously, but um, playing that drops that much water and one of those sort of tile shooters. Oh, and a skunk right there. Always nice to get that. Star Wars, yes. Classic Star Wars sets, but this is 2019. Anyway, this was actually 2018, the Millennium Falcon. Um, the UCS, so great and detailed, just too pricey though, $800. Wiving, the UCS, nice but pricey. Own that, the old version, and there's very little difference. Go check that review out, it's the Death Star. I'm gonna try to get this uh, this summer, maybe next summer. It's a pretty big purchase, though it really looks like it's a lot of fun. Uh, almost the same price as um, Apocalypseburg, 50 bucks more. Hmm. Ooh, the micro fighters. Um, Anakin's right there. I don't have an Anakin from that age, so I'll get it. And the build's pretty nice. I have a Darth Maul, so maybe not. I had him from that old set. So, um, juniors, here's the topic. Hey, they showed the best one here, in my opinion. You know, this is the one I'll get because TIE Fighters, like, they make $100 or $80 TIE Fighters, like, for, like, um, solo. So that's a cheap TIE Fighter and nice figure there and inside. Ooh, I'm definitely getting that. I love $30 star sets, maybe even more than battle packs. But yeah, Death Star Escape, definitely nice. New Stormtrooper helmet also, want to check that out. Oh, kids go free. The Lego movie days, hmm, what's that? With paid adult ticket, ah, basically some Lego line promotion. Oh yeah, this is meant to get torn out. Oh, more star sets, I wish that wasn't there. Not in the middle of the star sets, you know, but anyway, maybe some Lego movie 2 event, but. Yeah, expensive, 60 bucks, 50. Oh my God, wait. <laughs> I did not realize that this is $60 and that is $50. This just seems way bigger. It just seems like it's worth more. I, I really thought that that was $70 and that was 50. I don't know why. Hmm. Well, I don't care about them that much either way. Prequel trilogy and um, big sets. Probably getting that, need a do-back, need a sand trooper. I have those, but I'll take the escape pod. Could be useful for other stuff, using your imagination. Nope, didn't skip a page. Darth Vader's castle, that's a beauty. I also gotta get that sometime. Minecraft, okay. Minecraft is a game where you build stuff. Lego is a toy where you build stuff. They seem like a perfect fit, but why? 
get this set or the Minecraft game. Minecraft is unlimited here. It's just basically a 3D version. I don't like that, but I love that fire uh, piece right there. These are okay, I guess, you know, better than the sets. Like, I can actually see people use those um, to sort of pose things around. Nice turtle in that set as well, actually. DC sets, eh, not gonna get, not gonna get. Want, but not gonna get. Like, it looks pretty good. Um, I like, um, I wanna see it drive. Don't really have motorized Lego, but, eh, 100 bucks. Oh, the Spider-Man sets. Not gonna get this, just too big. Though that Venom is very nice. Would get that, like, alone for 30 bucks, I'm pretty sure, if you came with, like, this small side build. But that is just a piece of junk, in my opinion. Ooh, the Captain Marvel and the Skull Attack. I love getting, uh, seeing that picture. Definitely getting that, hopefully, $30. Um, yeah, the scroll just looks so bad in my opinion. Captain Marvel could have gone for dual molded legs. And I'll bring up my uh, complaints with that set. Juniors and I uh, have a Green Goblin. Can get a Spider-Man elsewhere. Why are they not showing all the sets? That surprised me. Where are the other three, um, four sets for this? I I'm not sure, but I want that like one with Carnage and Mount Morales, like the spider bike or whatever. Ninjago, I'm fine with them only showing one spigger. And this is like um, the legacy sets. Probably gonna get a spinner. You know how they keep releasing a new spinner every year? I think I'm gonna get like one of each different ninja until I have like all the ninjas in different spinners. That would be pretty cool. Um, I'm gonna get that. I like the sort of spinjitsu thing. Not advertised here. Hmm. 20 bucks, might get. Uh, not gonna get the 30 bucks is a pretty good price for that. Um, what else have we got? Uh, what is this? The Monastery of Spinjitsu. Uh, 80 bucks, no. I love those buildable figures. I missed out on the Civil War airport battle. Still trying to get that. So uh, I don't just don't like Ninjago that much. Remember that set. It actually looks pretty cool. The old version, I remember. I used to have it. It was one of my first Lego sets. Definitely my top three uh, first Lego sets, you know, newer ones. Uh, 15 bucks, I think I'll pick that up. Ultra Dragon, 85. Oh, 85. I thought that was like 100-ish. Yeah, that's a pretty good piece to part. Ninjago Dots. I need that to complete my Ninjago City. So I'll probably get... So, you know how I'm moving this summer? I'm selling a lot of stuff. I expect to make $500. You know, I'm selling like a Wii U, a lot of stuff. So um, I think I can get this and Apocalypse Bird. And if I have extra cash, I'll probably be halfway to Cloud City. So that's how I get those big sets, hopefully. Crater, 3-in-1. Not really my cup of tea. Mm, rather good speed champions. Okay, Jet. Shark looks pretty cool, though. I like a minifigure scale more and a little C mech. Hmm, would be nice if it could fit a figure and then use your uh, and then you know bring in your own figure. Okay, yeah, yeah, that one's actually pretty cool. It was just a good thousand thousandth review. Forty dollars? No, it feels like a thirty dollar set. This is taking longer than usual, but you know I'm really excited to do this. Like, I feel like I'm just looking through this, but I wanted to film it in case you guys did want to see it. So, if you don't want to see it, then you can um, watch another video. But Lego Overwatch sets. Yeah, I've been excited for this. Um, Tracer vs. Widowmaker. Cheap set. I'll probably get it. Cheap set. I'll probably get it. Cheap set. I'll probably get it. I love Diva's Mech, which this was in a $15 set. A lot of people have said that. It's just such a unique build, though they're very, very much oversized compared to figures. Um... Buildable Bastion, 50 bucks, and eh, I don't think so. That's another big set, so watch point Gibraltar, I think. Um, awesome vehicles, I think that's an old set as well as that. Um, oh my god, I love the 007. What was it, the James Bond Aston Martin, I think? Oh, it says it right there, yeah. DB5, so yeah, I definitely want that. Saw the London bus uh, when I went to Europe, didn't get it because it wasn't an exclusive. The Taj Mahal, the biggest set um, I think it's still, no, 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 now it's the UCS, um, Death Star, for the, for a long time, though, it was the biggest set. I love the greater roller coaster. oh, build your own fairground, it's cool, they're showing the other sets, but yeah, ah, uh, it just has so much to offer, ticket booth, fruit stand, cotton candy, I got five of those, sort of, um, beehive pieces in pink, by the way, I like the seagull, I just want it, and it can be motorized, I want the Vestas windmill a lot, ooh, 200 bucks, um, that's pricey. Not a lot of pieces, but you know, they're huge pieces. The big, ugly rock pieces in green, though a lot of people hate it, and I agree because it's like so specialized. It is still pretty nice recolor. Old modulars, that's my favorite modular. And then we got assembly square, maybe my second favorite, actually. 
I think the build is pretty good for this one. Uh, the new modular, the corner garage. Yeah, there it says new. Asian restaurant. Review that. I have that. Go check that out. The Disney Castle. I got to get this before it goes off shelves. It's been here for so long and it's a beauty. There's so many big sets I want, but they're so expensive. Um, I just came back from Paris, San Francisco. I like the what are those those sort of those two pieces venable two pieces in that dark reddish slash maroon color eb3 boots i do want robotics they're just really pricey and now i think we're getting into the stuff i less enjoy technic yeah i i just want one pullback then i'm set for my life but kids go free okay yeah it would be nice to get that other ad here so cuts through technic which i don't care for that much but um some more technic i have a tell with the pages oh the bugatti chiron i'm not a technic guy but that is a great set we got another two cars that's that's nice to get that piece nice part usage there i heard someone motorized that and it made it go like 40 miles per hour yeah that was pretty cool speed champions oh well, let's have that um i'm not into a big set though i just want that alone as a build um the ferrari up there looks kind of ugly that one looks pretty good i'm debating i've always wanted one just one speed champion set so it's between this blue car what i don't know the car names or this tell me in the comments below which one you'd rather have me review this or this that could decide it mm, a lot of people like the mini cooper i do too but it comes with all this other stuff those are actually okay builds oh here they are i've been looking for these Oh, combine the two. This is Harry Potter sets. Reviewed. Reviewed. Um, ha haven't gotten. They'll really want, especially those four figures. Please show the other Harry Potter sets. Ah, yeah, that's it. Okay, your free gift. Um, I think that's like if you buy stuff. Yeah, those promotions are over. Mm, that one's okay. I like the axe bot. Oh my god, Lego Ideas. The Voltron is just such a great and unique build. But then this the pop-up party uh book i almost said uh you know i said pop-up party because of oh, the pop-up party but but the pop-up book along with the ship in a bottle they don't even have to be licensed like this is voltron it's licensed they don't even have to be licensed to be so unique and i have subscribed to jk brickworks it's a really great channel i suggest you check him out he's the designer uh in part with uh grant davis i think oh we're getting the Laz aladdin mm, mini dolls though so it was a minifigure like in that series oh friend stuff yeah a lot of reviewers don't cover on friend sets and i really like friend sets oh so you can connect them yeah these are oh eight bucks maybe they're actually pretty good then because um yeah you get a figure ah could have came with a bit more well it does have the container as well i don't know maybe i'll get one of those and see oh com combination ones with just so many accessories 20 bucks mm. Still want to check that out. Emma's Art Studio, cool. 25 bucks, I thought it would be um 30 bucks. So 25 bucks, I might get that. I wonder what they're doing there. Is that a cloth piece? And then you got a two floor, uh, a two story building with that nice umbrella piece from the Creator Roller Coaster. I think I'll get that. Uh, Andres Town Show, 50 bucks. I love that uh, sort of skirt piece, but 50 bucks, I'm sorry, no. Oh, this looks so great. $30, I think I'll definitely get this. It's a frozen yogurt shop. Oh, Olivia's Cupcake Cafe. Yeah, I never read the names, you know. I just, um, uh, the names I do name, unless like I print here, um, I usually know, so. More friend stuff, good. Um, all about animals, cool. Um, 20 bucks, mm, no, I don't see it. 20 bucks, I see 15. 20 bucks uh, for this. Are these four plus? Yeah, four plus. Oh, that's six plus, but this, yeah, it looked like a four plus set. Um, we should stop calling them juniors. That's why I called it a four plus because, you know, now Lego calls them four plus. Probably because, like, younger kids don't like being called juniors, I'm pretty sure. Uh, this is just, like, the junior version of this set. It's okay. $40 seems overpriced, though. And, oh, last page, but we do got that. Another stable. Yeah, it's, like, horse-themed this time. 15? Yep, it's, it's official. Lego is getting more overpriced. The reason I don't know too much about friend sets is like no one really reviews them. 10 bucks, see? Um, 
that still kind of feels overpriced, but it is a Junior's. But that set right next to it, Mia's Forest Adventure, 15 bucks. Now that seems like a $10 set. And the last page showing the uh, Mighty Lure building. Why is it so empty up there? They could have had like a Lego Movie 2 tiny uh, quarter or one third uh, page poster. But yeah, that's it for this video. I know it was pretty long, but I'm probably going to talk to you the next time with the Lego Life magazine. So yeah, please subscribe, leave a comment down below.